Welcome to the Adult Foster Care Division's video presentation on preventing medication errors and the six rights of medication administration. Most residents in adult foster care facilities take medications to manage various health conditions. Medication errors happen in adult foster care facilities and can cause residents to experience mild to severe reactions or to develop complications. A medication error is defined as any preventable event that may cause or lead to inappropriate medication use or resident harm while the medication is in the control of the healthcare professional, resident, or consumer. An error occurs when the administration of medication is not done in accordance with a physician's order or manufacturer's specifications. Medication errors can have severe consequences for adult foster care residents, ranging from mild side effects to life-threatening complications. Medication passers in adult foster care facilities play a critical role as they are often the last line of defense against medication errors. Reasons medication errors occur include lack of adequate training, insufficient staffing, medication passers not following the systems or processes in place, poor handwriting, missing medication, miscalculation in dosing, incorrect storage, incorrect scheduling of medication, hectic work environments, and pharmacy errors. Some common mistakes medication passers make that lead to medication errors include administering the wrong medication, administering medication that has expired, administering the medication in the wrong dosage, failure to provide adequate food before giving the medication when required, crushing up a medication that is intended to be taken in full form, failure to provide adequate liquids along with the medication, failure to shake a medication that needs shaking, and incorrect administration of eye drops. Medication passers must demonstrate competency in medication administration and adhere to the highest standards of resident care. According to Adult Foster Care Group Home Administrative Licensing Rule ending in 312 Subrule 4A, direct care staff passing medications must be trained in the proper handling and administration of medications. Providers should ensure that their training curriculum includes the following items. Adult foster care licensing rules related to resident medications, medication routes and dosage types, common categories of medications, potential side effects and or adverse effects of medication, warning signs of medication allergies, medication interactions, dispensing systems and disposal of medications, understanding physician's orders and pharmacy labels, the documentation of medication administration, resident leave of absence during scheduled medication times, and addressing resident medication refusals. The six rights of medication administration are probably one of the most important guidelines an adult foster care staff member who passes medications needs to remember. Recalling all six rights will help staff members to administer medication properly and avoid critical errors. The first right is right resident. Medication passers must ensure medication is being given to the correct adult foster care resident. This includes verifying the resident's identity by checking their name, date of birth, or other identifiers. The second right is right drug. Medication passers are to ensure residents are being given the correct prescribed medication. Medication passers should check the resident's medication labels, 
and medication administration record to verify their name as well as the dosage and strength of the medication. The third right is right dosage. When administering medication, the resident is to receive the correct dose as prescribed by their healthcare provider. Medication passers should check the medication labels and verify the prescribed dose. Right route is the fourth right. Medication passers must ensure that the medication is being given by the correct route, for example, orally, sublingual, or by injection. Medication passers should verify that the route is appropriate for the medication and the resident. The fifth right is right time. Residents need medication at the prescribed correct time. Medication passers should verify the frequency and timing of the resident's medication. The sixth and last right is right documentation. Medication passers must ensure medication administration is accurately documented on the resident's medication administration record. Some consequences of medication errors include harm to residents, staff turnover, harm to the facility's reputation, and rule violations related to medication errors. Facility staff members can work together to reduce medication errors. Medication passers can do so by fostering a commitment to resident rights, being prepared and confident in questioning medication orders, minimizing med pass interruptions, preparing medications in a clean environment, filling medications several days before they run out, staying alert and paying attention when passing medication, and asking for help from a licensed healthcare provider if they are unsure about a medication. Licensees can assist in reducing medication errors by creating a support culture that values accurate reporting of medication errors it is also important that the facility's culture encourages learning from medication errors. Instead of trying to understand who is to blame, licensees should strive to understand what caused the medication error to occur in the first place. It is important for licensees to recognize that well-educated staff members are more effective and confident in their positions and more likely to be satisfied in their jobs. This means less turnover and increased resident safety. Licensees should have simple processes in place and hold staff accountable for following them. They should ensure their facility is adequately staffed, conduct routine medication cart and medication log audits, complete ongoing observation of staff members passing medications, and track errors by air type to improve training and procedures. Thank you for watching our video presentation on reducing medication errors and the six rights of medication administration. Together, we can minimize risks in adult foster care facilities and protect vulnerable adults.